Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about adding price filter on shop page. So let's see how can we add price filter on this shop page. So first of all, uh, go to the layout file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, uh, layouts, and let's open this one app.blade.php file. And inside this file, uh, go to the bottom of the page and uh, here after this let's add here at the rate the stack okay and give this tag name now let's this tag name is scripts all right now save this file now uh, go to the sub component class file so just go inside the app directory then http live wire and open this one sub component.php file and inside this file, uh, let's create here two property, uh, one for the min value and uh, another for the max value. Okay, so right here, public dollar min underscore value, and set here the default value zero, and for max value dollar max underscore value is equal to. Uh, let's say maximum value is 1000 all right now inside the render method uh, let's add here a uh, where between okay so right here where between and add here the column name which is regular price regular underscore price and then inside the array just pass here the min value and max value okay this mean value and max value so right here dollar dollar this arrow mean underscore value comma dollar this arrow max underscore value and also add here the arrow shine okay now let's copy this and paste here also paste inside this this line and also paste here okay now save this file now go to the swap component view file so inside resources directory views live wire and let's open this one swap component.php file and inside this file uh, let's find this filter okay rinse rinse slider so uh, let's just scroll the page and after this you can see here this is the filter by price okay so just change here the name filter filter by price and inside this range uh, let's display here the max value and uh, max value and mean value okay so just remove this input text field and add here span tag span okay and also add here the class text info and inside this dollar sign double curly bracket and display here the minimum uh, mean price okay so right here dollar mean underscore price and then after this span tag just add your dash and add another span tag for the maximum price span class fixed info And now just close this span tag and display here the maximum price dollar sign double curly bracket and dollar max value max value and here mean value not mean price okay mean value and max value
Now inside this slider, uh, this div, let's add here wire colon ignore. Okay, now save this file. Now go to the public folder. Uh, here is the public folder, okay, then assets, js and let's open this one main.js and inside this js file uh, let's find here the slider script okay so you can see here online number 342 here is the price range uh, javascript code okay so let's cut this code okay and paste this file and uh, save this file and now go to the sub component view file and on the bottom of the page let's add here at the rate push and add uh, add here the name a stack name which is scripts scripts and then paste here the slider script javascript code inside the script tag okay so first add here the script and paste here All right now close the at the rate at the rate uh, in push okay closing this push directive now just uh, comment this line and add here at the rate dollar this add dot set and inside this just add here the property name which is this one min value and max value so first add here the mean underscore value and assign the value of the slider minimum value so right here ui dot values zero index okay and for the max value dot at the rate the, this dot set max underscore value ui dot values and pass here the index 1 ok and also remove this line of code and inside this let's uh, put here the minimum value 0 and maximum value 1000 and uh, also set here the value maximum value 1000 all right now save this file now everything is done so let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh the page okay you can see here the minimum value zero and maximum value thousand dollar okay if i change the price range uh, let's change the maximum so just like this and you can see here the products according to this price range okay if i change the minimum range you can see here the price and uh, the products according to this price range okay so in this way you can add price filter on soft page so that's all about adding price filter on soft page so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching